This is Mike from the Scar Zone, and today we got a special review for you. We're going to be reviewing Atlantic Marksman's 9mm Palmer Round. So come on and check it out with us. A couple other companies tried to make uh, Palmer Rounds before. Herders out of Russia did it. They wanted to make a cheap, easy uh, practice, range practice ammo. Also, I believe Blazer might have come out with one a while ago. It never really hit the market. Uh, it wasn't really accepted well in the market because, you know, in the long run, they were all, they, they weren't that much cheaper than than uh, classic ball ammo, so it didn't really work out well. Now, I was given, I tested uh, just under or just around 600 rounds of these. And I did not have a single fee, uh, failure to, to fire, a single failure to eject, failure to feed, nothing. Everything that I've done with these rounds, they've functioned flawlessly, perfectly. Um, I was really happy with it. I went through a couple of different handguns that I had available to me. They all took it well. For all intents and purposes, these behaved exactly like a regular ball ammo or hollow point ammunition from high-end manufacturers. Uh, and definitely better than low-end manufacturers, that's for sure. Um, I had zero problems, uh, no failures whatsoever. There's never any failure uh, to fire on these. The primers are great, everything works. They function flawlessly, so that's really good to know. Now, in my ballistics test, uh, you'll see that these things work really well, and I go a little bit more into that. Now these are the defensive rounds. They also have uh, tracer rounds, and they use a uh, an added element in the back of the round in order to create the phosphorus trail. However, uh, they do work. Uh, they are pretty cool. They're fun to shoot uh, as always. You know, for all intents and purposes, this is almost as or just as strong as a regular metallic cartridge. Now. Some of the benefits that this will give you is one, it's lighter. It's a lighter grain, so that means less powder, so that actually brings the cost down to produce these. However, these guys are making a really high-end round, so they're using Lapua brass, um, which is great for anybody that's reloading, because then you can pick up this brass and use it, and you'll be very happy with that. However, it's it's priced you know competitively with your, your regular hollow point nose. Uh, defensive rounds and you know this is what this is for is it's a defensive round it's gonna go and it's gonna impact just as well as hollow point although it has the added benefit because it's not a hollow point itself right it goes through clothing and then it doesn't depend on ex having to expand in order to ex for it to stop and create a cavity wound what this does is because of these slits in, in it it gives that spiral, you know, uh, boring in sort of expansion. It's it's amazing. It really, you know, in the ballistic test, it really tears the shit out of it. Um, it was awesome. So very impressed with that. But because of the fact that it doesn't have to expand open, it goes through your material first. Uh, applications like having to shoot through glass at somebody, um, at you know, for defensive purposes very useful in that so it'll go through the glass and then go in into the subject matter um, another thing is is that you know it won't ricochet like regular ball ammo will you know and we're all concerned about that where does your bullet go you know your every one round is your liability so that's something else to think about these uh, don't have a ricochet aspect to them they won't ignite something if they're hot you know uh, that's that whole you know steel core thing so we don't have to worry about that other good benefits um, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. these guys spent a lot of time and a lot of money they got the right people together Polycase and Lapua in order to produce this round uh, I am after all my testing like I said I only had 600 rounds to go through uh, this is all I got left besides what I got here, and this, this to me is is what says it. I'm using the last ones in my conceal carry. This, you know, I like them so much. I'm I'm putting my life on this. This is my defensive round choice for going forward because 
they got it. It's dependable, it's fast, the recoil on your hand is a, is a little bit less. I did some tests with recoil management. Um, I don't have any scientific equipment here, so, you know, but I tried my best to try to capture it. Uh, let, we'll let you guys be the judge on, on seeing a difference. Um, unfortunately, the way I did it um, and filmed it, it doesn't really come out too well to, to notice that much of a difference. However, in my hand, at the range, I can feel it. Uh, and so I'm convinced it's well. These things are great for concealed carry weapons such as the shield or an LC9, something with a smaller barrel that you know will benefit from the lesson recoil that this, this round has to offer. So again, you know, for me the market niche is really, you know, defensive carry weapons. However, the other market niche will be the guys out there and the gals out there doing you know, pistol matches, those folks that are doing the pistol matches, this stuff comes out screaming. It's screaming fast, 1,500 feet per second. Lower muzzle flip, you know, it's able to hit down steel targets. I've done it. So, you know, don't shy away thinking that plastic is wimpy. This stuff is strong as balls, man. So, using this in your weapon, you know, if you're out there at matches, I would definitely do this. If I had enough uh, rounds, I definitely take these to my next match because of that factor that you know just a, just the slightest amount of muzzle flip lessening is going to help you out and get back on target. So that's really what we wanted to do was test this out. I don't have any ballistic gel. What I do have is redneck ballistic gel. So we're going to go and check that out right now and see how well this fares, uh, redneck style. Redneck ballistic gel, also known as pork butt. Yeah, that's how we do it. All right, so wow, look at that. That's a huge cavity that just went straight on through. Let's see if you can get that. The reason why I'm not using ballistic gel is, there's two reasons. One, I'm cheap as hell, right? And the other is, um, this is more, this is real life. You know, this is what you'd have. There's all this bone material in, in here. It went straight through the bone. This is another huge cavity that it made uh, going through here. And so for me, you know, if I'm gonna decide to change my defensive rounds, you know, then I want something that I know that's gonna work. Now these poly case rounds, they lessen your muzzle flip so you stay on target more. And uh, yeah, that thing just went straight on through. That was awesome, man. I just ripped that bone right in half, went through it like it was nothing. See, there's the other side of the bone. And um, yeah, so that's like your rip, right? So it went through there, then it made a huge explosive cavity. This is awesome. This tells me that this is a round that I could really depend on in my defensive carry weapons. Now here's the front wounds. Uh, actually, there's one of them. And it just blew this completely out. Here's the bone. It broke it, cracked it. You know, went straight through, made a large exit wound cavity. I mean, look at that hole. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, devastating really is, is, is the word I'd, I'd like to use. So this is you, and this is you on, on an Atlantic Marksman's poly cases, or this is your foe, to tell you the truth. So I'm actually gonna switch to this round to be in my carry piece, my Smith & Wesson shield. It's more comfortable to shoot, in a sense. So with these rounds being uh, very effective in cartilage and in muscle tissue and going through fat, you know, I'm very much sold on this. But just like hollow point rounds though, you know, you buy 50, you test them, make sure they function in your weapon, and then you buy another 50 to hold on to, to keep loaded, and to every once in a while function check them. So anyway, this is Mike from the Scar Zone. I hope you like my redneck test. 
don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and we hope to have more reviews like this coming to you in the future. Stay tuned, be safe, and shoot straight.